Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of NLL Flash. My name is Tino Farah. Uh, with another day comes another team preview, and the next team up is the Panther City Lacrosse Club getting ready and getting set for their second season in the National Lacrosse League. But before we get there, as always, we need to say hello to our guest and analyst, Mr. Teddy Jenner of Lacrosse Flash and the Western side of the TSN Games of the Week. Teddy, this is our first opportunity to chat with you since the TSN schedule has come out. Mm. How are you feeling about your workload coming up this winter? Uh, I'm stoked. I get games in the, the first four weeks other than Christmas. So you guys will see a lot of myself, Brad Challoner, and Chantel Chan in the month of December. But uh, just the fact that we're back on TSN and we've made this announcement means that we're a month away from the NLL season starting. So uh, super stoked to get going. Obviously, Pat and John will have the first call with Ashley in Halifax. And then uh, the West crew will be in the Bermuda of Canada, lovely Hamilton, Ontario, for the Rock and Warriors, which is always a fun time. So excited for it all. Right on, as we all are. Well, let's kick this off right away. As I said before, we're talking about the Panther City Lacrosse Club. And as we've been asking all of our guests, Teddy, in your opinion, what was Panther City's biggest move of the offseason? I think there's two. Uh, one, getting Tony Ma Tony Malcolm uh, to the speedster uh, that can kind of do a little bit of everything. Uh, he can play transition D and do it really well. He can play transition offense and do it really well. You can just single him out as a D guy or an O guy. And again, he's going to do that really well for you. Obviously, he hasn't found um, a lot of success in the stops that he's been in so far. But I think if you can take the reins off Tony Malcolm and you can just let him use his athletic ability, his speed and his skill to do what he does best, I think he'll start to find a home uh, under Tracy Kolusky down there in Fort Worth. And I really like that addition. The other one I like is getting uh, Tyler Burton from Calgary. He is one of the most consistent draw guys in the National Lacrosse League. And I know there are some people out there that will say face-offs don't matter. And there's the other case of people will say face-offs do matter. Well, in Burton's case, face-offs matter. And one of the best things that he does is compete for loose balls. It will also allow Jeremy Thompson to be a little more fresh, having not to take all those face-offs that he took for them last year. So adding Tyler Burton gives them another weapon at the dot. It frees up Jeremy Thompson and just gives this team a better chance to compete with the ball in their sticks. And that will lead us to your next question, I'm sure, of what will they have to do to make it. Getting a little ahead of yourself there, Ted. Not <laughs> quite yet. We'll get there eventually. But eventually. Eventually, eventually. Panther City uh, coming into their second season, of course, one of those teams that's trying to build a culture here and they can't do it with just one guy. But with that being said, do you have one or maybe two players that you're going to be keeping your eye on all season? I think the easiest answer is Mr. Donville. Um, but we expect him to do great things. We all know what Jonathan Donville has done in the past and we all know he's going to be successful in the NLL. But I think the name everybody needs to keep their eye on, and he burst onto the scene with the Edmonton Miners at the Minto Cup, and that's Matthew Goche. This kid, if he can commit and they can take time with him, I think he's going to be a really great addition to this offense. They already have guys like Nate Grennan. We talked about Will Malcolm. Uh, Dean Farrell had a great year. Now you also have Caleb Kuber who comes into the mix, and this is a team that's kind of mishmashing pieces together. But the but what we saw from Goche at the Minto Cup, proves to everybody that he can compete on the biggest stage and have an impact with everything that he does. And I think this is an absolutely gem of a pick for this group to get him into their offense, get him into that system. And if he can do what he did at the Minto Cup, I don't see any issues with him putting up some good numbers in his rookie year. Couldn't agree with you more. But now it's time to get to the question that you are obviously waiting for. Teddy, what does Panther City have to do to make it into the postseason? Uh, they need Dodsey and Donville LLC to be one of the most dynamic duos in the entire National Lacrosse League. Dodsey put up 84 points in his rookie season. If it's not for Teat, he's definitely, you know, 1-2 in that running for Rookie of the Year with guys like Nana Coke and Bowering and LeClaire. He was absolutely phenomenal, and he's just getting started. We talked about Donville already. Everybody knows what he can do. But let's see him and Dodds work that two-man game on the right-hand side of the floor. Those guys are going to be a problem because they're big, they're athletic, and they can score inside and out. And neither one of them 
are true ball guys. They love to work off ball. So the fact that they complement each other very well is going to give them a high rate of success coming into their first year playing together. Uh, if this group can be led by these two guys and they get a company scoring and secondary scoring from the rest of that offense and in transition, they are going to be a lot to deal with. And that also will lead to my 1A of what they need to do to make the playoffs. And they need to have a, a power play over 48%. Now, some may say 48%. Shouldn't it be like above 50? Well, I think the league average was around 45, 46. So if they can be above average on the power play, that's going to give them that many more opportunities to take leads and to win games. And winning games means fans get excited and we need fans in Fort Worth. So Dodds, Donville, the key for Panther City making the playoffs. Teddy, thank you very much. Your contributions are always very much appreciated, and we cannot wait to see you on our television screens and in TVs and bars and pubs all over the place. Oh, that's the best part. There you go. Uh, for myself, Tino Farah, and Teddy Jenner, we've been NLL Flash. We'll see you next time.